人口它包括是个很大的概念。比如说旅游的人，还有来这里这个短期工作的，还有学术交流，包括今天我们在座的这所有的人都应该，应该大部分叫流动人口。所以说流动人口这个概念更广。所以我希望呢，它变成一个。呃呃，我感感觉光用流动人口是错，那么有没有更好的呢？用这个 migrant migrant， 我觉得也不见得就是对的，因为在这个呃，在 migrant 应该理解成移民或者叫迁移人口啊、呃，我觉得呢应该叫 floating population。You know we have around 100 million population in one province, including the About about 20 million, if I remember it correctly,、uh, migrant workers coming from the other parts of China. So this is a, a very specific issue and also very important issue in Guangdong province. You know, migrant population is really, really a, a very unique kind of segment within China in terms of all kind of protections and the care. These people are the ones who really contribute to the growth. And the continued growth of China. Where is China moving? What kind of society does China want in the 21st century? And how well are different groups of the population, people coming from rural areas to do different work, families with children、um, who will be the next generation of workers,、um, who come from the rural areas and need to live in urban areas? Can we get the most out of China? 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 他的我们在在中国呢，就是要牵涉到报销，他有些要回到家，呃，回到自己的家乡去报销。这些呢，这个我们作为中国政府呢，在推动这些事情。Why you know migrants stay in the city? They are not going to seek for healthcare. Whether it's the access problem or whether there's a liquidity constraint, whether the payment scheme prevents them to doing so, or whether the employee employers are the ones. Really block the access of them seeking for other type of insurance. I think this question has been set for a long time. It 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 has been
that there's a huge agenda, a huge research agenda and a very big policy agenda and there's still a long way to go in really changing um, thinking, ideas, having evidence and working out what should be done, but it needs to be done quickly.